Hello, today I will be doing an unboxing and reviewing this nail kit Kuzuri sent me. I'm excited because my first nail kit was similar to this one. So let's open it up. I've been waiting so long for this nail kit, so I'm so excited. This is how the nail kit looks. <laughs> Oh my god, ah, I'm excited. <laughs> so the first thing we have is we have four in the glitters. I still have mine from the first nail kit I got. So I have four more. <laughs> and also we have two different nail tips. We have the full cover nail tips and the C-curve nail tips. And also we have some rhinestones. I've been wanting to order some rhinestones and here I have rhinestones so I don't need to order anymore for now. <laughs> okay so this is the acrylic powder manual. It, here it tells me how to apply my acrylic powder and the different steps I have to take. I'll leave this for last. <laughs> I love when I'm doing an unboxing that all my stuff comes nicely packaged. So here we have five practice fingers. I already have four, but this will do me good. The ones I have is like ones I can clean around my cuticle area. It helps me a lot when it comes to working with my cuticle. This one came without the critical so I'm praying that <laughs> I will be able to work with this one now we have some more goodies so here we have a dapping dish What I realized so far, every time that I need some new nail products, I instantly get them. <laughs> and here we have a nail file. I'm not too sure if this one is the 100 nail grip file or if it's the 180. It feels like the 180 to me. And also we have a nail buffer. This is my first time seeing a nail buffer. Like it came with six different like instructions on how to use this nail buffer. And here it's saying nail buffer. <laughs> and also it's saying to polish and shine <laughs> the nail. <laughs> like I'm excited to use this. And here we have a nail cutter and also we have a nail brush. This is used after you're done applying acrylic and you're ready to dust your nail. But you can also use this to wash your nail after applying your acrylic after you're done filing and buffing the nail. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm excited to try this out. It came with two nail art brushes. And also it came with some nail tip guides. I remember using this when I first started learning how to apply acrylic on my nails. And this was the first thing that I used. A next tool to help clean around your cuticle area. This is like to remove the dead skin. And here we have the monomer it came with. So this is the EMA, not MMA. I'm happy that it's EMA and not MMA. <laughs> so what I've been waiting for to open. So here we'll go ahead and open this up. In this package, it came with the glue. 
Cherries out. That's the acrylic powder it came with. <laughs> so here we have the clay acrylic powder, and also we have pink acrylic powder, and we also have white acrylic powder. These are like the main free acrylic powders you need when starting out your acrylic nail journey. <laughs> These are the free acrylic powders that I use when I first started using acrylic. <laughs> And last but not least, we have primer and we also have top coats. <laughs> I'm excited to try the top coats. Not bad. <laughs> Be sure to smash the like button and leave a comment. Now I'm just removing any shine or any glue that's left on my nail tip. I'm not too sure if I will be using any nail forms or nail tip to put on my nails. But this is how the nail forms are looking. What I'm doing is just trying to see if the nail form will be able to fit under my nail tip. I decided to use nail tips instead of the nail form, so this is the nail glue that I will be using. Wow, this is the first time that I'm using a nail glue that has a nail brush at the end. What I normally use is, let me close it for you to see. Like normal nail glues has the little hole in it and you can just place it on the nail tip, but this one has a brush and I'm excited to use it. And it applies so well. For me to create this design, I'll be using two nail tips, so I'll be putting one on top of the other. All the nail tips are really short and I want my nail tip to look really long so here is me adding the second nail tip to the first nail tip I already have on. Today will be my first time attempting this nail hack. I have never done this before but I saw several videos on you just applying a second nail tip on that first nail tip. Before I go ahead and add any more til nail tips to my nail bed, I will go ahead and file the nail down to give it that nice shape to know if this is what I really want. Now I'm just taking my nail cutter to give it that length that I really want. Here I'm just opening up my first acrylic powder and this is the white acrylic powder. Now I'm opening up my second acrylic powder. Excited to try this pink out. Now let's go ahead and open up the last acrylic powder and this is the clear acrylic powder. Here, I'm just dipping my acrylic brush into my monomer. Now, I will take my first acrylic bead to add to my nail tip. Now, since this is my first time using this acrylic, I won't be taking any large beads. I will take a small bead just to see if I'll be able to handle it. What I love about this acrylic powder is that it's not runny compared to other acrylic powders. As soon as you lay it on your nail tip, it's like you have to be able to handle it, like work well with the bead. Now I'm just going to add my second acrylic bead to this nail tip. If you're new to applying acrylic powders, all you have to know is that just take your time. You have to be able to work with the acrylic bead.
now for the design i had in mind was to do an ombre so what i did was lay my first white acrylic powder first then i went ahead with my pink acrylic powder what i had in mind was that you won't be able to see the white acrylic powder when i normally do ombres i don't get to see the white or whatever color that i use but here i'm seeing the white acrylic powder so my guess is that this pink color is like a bubble gum and it's not the best acrylic powder to use to do an ombre like you can just use this to just cover the full nail tip with but to do an ombre it's a no no for me so what i did was move all the nail tips that i had on already and just go ahead with a clear nail tip and i had to do a different nail design since this ombre wasn't working out for me like these two colors don't really work together it's like you have to use the one color to really get that design that you really want if you don't want to see like the both colors together so here all i did was just add some gel polish around the nail tip and add the gems that came with the nail kit the only two gems that did not come with the nail kits were the big ones and the small little ones that I have around the nail tips. What I'm doing is adding glue on the nail tip so I can just randomly place the crystals on the nail tip. Using a pair of tweezers for the first time was a bit of a struggle for me but I also got a hand in learning how to use it. To finish up the pinky, I will go ahead and add some glue, then add my rhinestones. Now I will place my big rhinestone on my nail tip and just place it anyhow. I'm not too sure if I would like it straight or on a side, but here I placed it on a side. And place my little rhinestones any place that looks nice on the nail tip. I really love to see how the nails turned out. I already added the top coat and the cuticle oil. So this is the cuticle oil that I use to place around my cuticle area. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and a comment and I will see you in my next one. Bye!